don't look at me like that. Mm -mm. See, I already can tell the way y'all looking at this video. Y'all wondering where I've been. Honey, I have been busy. This is a lot of work to do for the Lord. Okay. So I've been trying to get my life. Okay. And I've been busy. So we're going to leave it at busy. Anyway, how is everybody doing? You doing okay? Y'all still enjoying Jesus and all his joys? I know it's been a moment since we had a moment to chat. But today, I'm not going to come on here and talk about anything really deep. Or if I do, it's going to be another video. I am here because my YT sister, yes, Miss Evangelist, yes, Yvette, living my best life. Mm -hmm. You know, we go by all those titles, honey. We wear many hats. She has tagged me. And here I am looking at all her pretty shoes. And I hear my name being the what? The number one. The first name she called in the shoe tag. And you know I had to. That's my sister. You know I had to come on here and, and show y'all my shoes. Okay. She, um, this is called Show Us Your Favorite Shoes. I think she asked for five, but I have pulled, let's see, one, two, three, four. Oh, I pulled five. <laughs> yeah, it worked out. Five of my, um, um, I just, I will just pulled five. She said, pull five of your favorite shoes. Honey, I can't pull, mm -mm. I can't go in that closet right over there and pull just five of my favorite, because I, I have a lot of favorites, but I have pulled five pair, okay? And I tried to pull some classy, some sassy, some churchy some comfy. I tried to pull, you know, some like that and just for fun. So that's the categories. And so we're going to go on with my shoe showing starting now. Okay. One of my shoes I pulled, this is by Steve Madden. This is a zebra. This shoe was given. Yes. Given to me by an awesome woman of God. I appreciate it. Evangelist. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, it's a wedge. It's a stacked wedge. Um, they're brown uh, zebra stripes. Actually, they're black zebra stripes. And the border of this is like a maroon color. And these shoes are horsehair. If you look close, you can see that they are horsehair shoes. Mm -hmm. you, see the, you see that? Yeah. These are by Steve Madden. These are some bad wedges. Yes, they are. Um, and they are one of my favorite little pair of shoes to put on. Okay, moving right along. These are some of my newest pair. These are my churchy. My churchy shoes. These fall in the category of churchy. Okay, and I got these to go along with um, a dress that I got not long ago. Um, I originally bought some open toe shoes to go with the dress, but, you know, you don't always want to have your toes out. So... I bought these as an alternate. And these are by Cupid. Um, I think I got these on clearance somewhere and only paid. Y'all not going to believe that. Mm -mm. See, they were originally $2 to $4.99. Honey, I paid $11. Can y'all see that? $11.99 for these shoes. And they are super cute with the bow and uh, that silver finish on them. And they are very well, they're very well made shoe and so i just got them for a steal and for 11.99 and when i saw that this shoe was 11.99 lady t you know what i had to do i had to scoop it up yes yes i did okay so we're going on these are my shoes that are for fun these are my for fun shoes you ready don't y'all talk about my shoes y'all ready bam yes these are my shoes that are just for fun, these have like a brown cork um, sole, yes, and this bright, um, they have a cork here at the uh, sole as well, and um, these are like this bright fuchsia hot pink, they kind of go with my nails right now, I don't know what I'm going through, let me take a little detour from the shoes, whenever I want to change in my life, I always do something to my outer appearance. I either go to the salon and just get all my hair cut off, but as you can see, I still have my hair. Or I just do something crazy with my nails. I go from having real short, conservative, French-tipped, nude-colored nails to like, to this right here. This one, then you know I'm, I'm dealing with some stuff. And I'm just ready for a change and ready for God to do some stuff. I start doing stuff like this. Honey, I don't know. 
Y'all pray for the apostle. Okay. Back to the shoes. We're not we're not getting into the deep stuff. Back to the shoes. Um, these are like a very fuchsia shoe. I don't know. You probably can't see the color quality from the camera, but these are them. When I want to have a little fun. Don't worry, I can still shout in them. Yes, I can. They still shout and shoot. Moving right along. These are my conservative busy business classy shoes that I got. I love that thick chunky heel and they're two toned. They are that tan and then that um pecan. Yes, 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 yes. Peak toe, nice finish on them. Yes. Okay. Moving along, moving along, moving along. Oh, and those shoes are by Cupid as well. Unfortunately, I did not pay eleven ninety nine. No, um, they were uh, almost forty dollars, but I did get these on clearance. So, I, and you know what? I believe in wearing real good shoes, but thanks, I don't pay real good prices for them. I have learned in whatsoever state I'm in to shop the clearance rack. If I'm way up here in my finances. Go to the clearance rack. If I'm way down here in my finances, go to the clearance rack. If I'm right here in my fi <laughs> go to the clearance rack. The Lord will bless you. Yes, he will. On the clearance rack. Don't have no coupon to pull out, too. Because you know I'm going to have a coupon. I'm going to move right along before I get excited. You know, you, you see what shoes do for me. I get all kind of messages and inspiration from shoes. We going on. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Now, these shoes are a happy and a sad story. Both happy and sad. Do y'all see these shoes? <laughs> yes. I did a concert in these shoes. Dance for Jesus in these shoes. So... These shoes, I thought, were my friend. I thought that these were shouting shoes. Because I don't wear shoes. I can't shout it. In fact, it's a pair in that closet right there that I got from my brother's wedding. I wore them uno one time. Because during the wedding, I wanted to take them off and throw them. In fact, if you look real close to that on some of his wedding pictures, you will see me in the picture with no shoes on my feet. That's how much I hate those shoes. But I bought them because my sister wanted us to wear those shoes when I was in her wedding. How be ever, they have not gone on these uh, these feet since that wedding because I can't shout in them, can't stand up in them. Those are sit down, cross your legs at the ankle, look cute shoes. And that's not what I go to church to do. I go to church to praise the Lord. So anyway, I wore these shoes just a few Sundays ago. Do y'all see that? I know, honey, it's a shoe. But, you know, I'm bad in the Holy Ghost. And when I put these on, I could step. At least I thought I could. So, anyway, church was good. The service was awesome. And they said, turn to your neighbor. And you grab hands with that neighbor. And you tell that neighbor, 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 we about to praise God. We about to praise God. So, I grabbed my neighbor's hand. My sister, who had been going through, just lost her mother. She had just buried her mother the day before. So, you know we had a reason. To give God praise. Because she was at church. Still praising God. Still being held up. You know I would have been somewhere. In the corner somewhere. If I had just said goodbye to my mom. But that girl. She is doing wonderful. And we're continuing to pray. So anyway. I grabbed hands with her. And I was like. Girl let's give it to him. Let's give him all we have. And you know I did right. And you know we did right. Let me tell you what happened. In the midst. Of our praise. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain. It broke every chain. I guess my shoes look like a chain. So while God was giving us a breakthrough, my shoes broke on through too. Mm -hmm. But I ain't worried. I'm going to probably try to, um, I don't know. I've been thinking of creative ways. I think I, if I go to the shoe store and get um, them to sew me a piece of leather across the band 
and just put it underneath this band and then glue this on top with the leather. Child, I don't know. But I we gonna find a way to fix some shoes. There ain't no more shoes like that. Nah, uh I bought them one time and ain't seen them no more. And they gone. Once stuff like that come, it, it ain't coming back. That's a one-time shoe. And you know I'm a little upset with the devil for trying to break my shoe. But that's all right. Because God was worthy of that praise. So anyway, I don't know how I got churchy on the shoe tag. Because, honey, I do have a shoe ministry. Yes, I do. I have a shoe ministry. Uh, my discernment go off. I know when it's a sale. Yeah. I know when it's going to be a discount marked down going on and all that good stuff so yes so uh, oh i got scripture for it how beautiful are the feet of the hey of them that carry the gospel of peace and i'm carrying the gospel so my feet have to be beautiful yes i did find a scripture <laughs> anyway this has been apostle stacy wood and i'm just having fun with the day i have had today I know I need to come on here and enjoy Jesus in all his joy. So thank you, Evangelist. Thank you, Miss Living My Best Life, for tagging me in the show your shoes, show your shouting shoes, show your show enough sanctified shouting shoes video. And I want to tag in response to this. I want to tag the same people she tagged. So I guess, let me see who I want to tag. I want everybody tag. You are it. Tag your it. Show me your shouting shoes. Okay? Love y'all. Remember to keep enjoying Jesus and all his joys. And thank you for making ministry possible. If y'all don't see me on here for a while, call my name out before God, okay? Because life gets real busy sometimes. And a little prayer every now and then. Sure won't hurt nobody. All right? Love y'all. Bye-bye.